Shalom dear family and friends, Shalom from Judean Hills and today we have an amazing opportunity our friend Jurgen Burr from a Grecian embassy in Jerusalem came to encourage us to support us here the congregation of Zderot and Jurgen I want to ask you what do you feel about this new situation in Israel we never had such a war Mm -hmm. And this is so new, it's a new period. What do you think as a director of so important organization and as a person who lived in Israel so many years? Well, thank you so much, Michael. It's uh, very touching to be with you here and to see what you are doing, how you maintain the congregation away from home. Oh, yeah. And you are right, these are some of the most difficult, I think it's the most difficult time we experienced here in Israel. I agree. We are living here since 30 years. We have two boys in the army, like many Israeli families. And um, it's, uh, this nation is traumatized. I think the president of Israel, Mr. Isaac Herzog, he said correctly that this is the most difficult time in Jewish history since the Holocaust. And I think he's absolutely right. And I believe it's also a time where it's important for the church today to wake up and to... Um, it, I, I don't think it's enough anymore just to say, oh, we love Israel and we stand with Israel. This is really a time where action is needed. And um, people need to support you and, you know, your congregation. This is not your home place. Your refugees right now fleeing yes. from Hamas, from people who murdered your neighbors and um, horrible stories unfolded and I think Christians today around the world they need to stand up they need to pray for Israel pray for Pastor Michael see how they can practically how you can practically support him and uh, you know it's for many years people tell us oh we stand with Israel but it's really the time where people can prove their support and it's a critical time now is the time and uh, I have another question how do you see your role like uh, at Christian Embassy in the face of the new events uh, happen here in Israel and how I understand also around the world so many anti-Semitic movement uh, raised up? Mm. What do you think? What is the role of Christian Embassy now? Well, what we are telling our people around the world is that, like I said before, now is the time when you can need to raise your voice. That means our branches, we have branches in more than 90 countries. We encourage them to go out to the streets, to have demonstrations to support Israel. And it's happening all over Europe, in Finland, in Germany, in Czech Republic, uh, in the United States, in uh, many countries. I think we had, I counted 25 countries where we had had, uh, demonstrations going on and that's very important because uh, uh, the majority of people on the streets they are pro-Palestinian pro-Hamas and the voice of the Christians need to be heard you know I'm from Germany and the big sad story of the German church during the time of Hitler was that the church was silent and we have to make sure that in this critical time the church is not silent anymore but they are standing with them. It's also a time to financially support Israel like never before. People like you, what you are having, we are working together with many government institutions to help refugees, uh, to help people who are first responders, uh, to help even uh, with trauma. You know, so many people, they, I don't think they will be able to sleep uh, for the coming months, even years, because what they just experienced right now. And we want to help them to return as soon as possible back to a normal life. And the third one, and maybe this is even the most important, we need a church that is praying for Israel. Yes. We need to pray for this nation, for the protection. We need to pray that this crisis will not be just a crisis where Israel will come out victorious, but that this will be a time where Israel prays and seeks God. And uh, like Zechariah 14 says, where they will look upon him whom they have pierced and recognize their Messiah. Mm -hmm. But it's also a time where the church needs to pray for congregations like your congregation that this will be a time of revival, a time of signs and wonders, and that God can move powerfully with His Spirit. And I'm so delighted, you know, what you shared about me, that you have the presence of God, the Shekinah glory, and you'll yes. tend here as a refugee. That's so encouraging to hear that. Thank you so much. And I really impacted and touched by your words that 
you raise people around the world uh, to pray for Israel and especially to raise the voice like in public uh, public places so thank you so much and god bless you god bless uh, the christian embassy and all the people who support you and stay with you just helping us in israel mm. so friends thank you so much for your prayers and supporting israel this is the critical time we have and i think how more we come near to the uh, days of the messiah so the critical times and the critical days will come more and more it's very important right now to stay for Israel because also the Christians will be s split on the two, pro and against Israel. Amen. So God bless you and keep you. Shalom from Israel. Shalom.